Guys, I have a very special package for today. Without any time to waste, let's just go ahead and open this. Now, I don't know what you guys expected, but this is what I expected. It is basically a wake up light alarm. It's a light alarm in which you set up a time, you set up an alarm, and depending on what setting you got, it's gonna start brightening up in the morning. And basically instead of like a noise alarm, like your typical, um, whatever noise alarms you have on your phone, you have a light alarm. I didn't choose any sound for this and so far, what I'm really liking about it is this just full face, you know, light up screen. Like when you turn this on, it is a fucking beam in the morning. And yeah, I'm just super excited to use this. I'm super excited to start supplementing this in. So then I get more consistent with my sleep because <laughs> I've been fucking up super, super bad recently. I don't know. I don't know what you expected from, um, this order but this is what I got it wasn't any creatine it wasn't any you know um, camera or any of that but this is the best thing that I could afford right now um, considering sleep is my biggest uh, problem now the price for this was just like $70 um, originally I didn't want to spend over like $47 just because um, I had a budget and I've kind of like sectioned out all of my money for um, the Dio subscription, but seeing as, hey, I have enough for um, Dio until like October, it was just like, why, I'm, I should, it generally shouldn't take me that long to get results or learn in the program. So for me, it's like, hey, if I can pay it off by then, it won't be a big deal. And so I decided to invest in this. I lost a month worth of my subscription, but it's fine. This is just, uh, I am just so excited to use this right now. Like, seriously, this is, this is fucking beautiful if you just don't see it right now. This is probably what it would look like um, in the morning. Let me just try and work it out here. So, this is at like 10. Uh, I can set it to like 15, which is usually what I, I first set it. In the morning as you can see this shit is so bright if i just if i turn off the light here as you can see it lights up my face pretty well this is at like um setting 15 so it's like uh, i'm just testing it out right now you know i'm still figuring out the settings but oh i'm still figuring out the settings but yeah I'm super excited to see how i can use this guys if you ever want me to do a review on this i'll gladly do one you know on any things that I use and you know I yeah that any products that I use or maybe um, you know programs I go through I'll be guaranteed to you know share it with you guys and show you what programs I'm in what tools I'm using for my routine and this is definitely going to be one of those that will um, pop up on the channel pretty soon so yeah that is my new little gadget for today's video um, I'm just going to be testing out the sound the maybe not the sound but the light um, positioning right now i'm just putting it at the corner of my room um, and i just might test it from my bed it really depends i might test the lighting the brightness etc there's so much around you know to play around with um, and especially like the sunset setting as well that's another feature but yeah i think that'll be all for my short unboxing of that light alarm um, aside from that guys 
I didn't I really didn't have anything else in mind to start off the video it it's Thursday it is the um, it is what it is the 23rd of May Thursday and um, the week is still here I didn't think this light alarm would uh, arrive until Friday as it said but came a day early so I just set everything up so um, maybe in a week's time or you know whenever you guys until the next video um, I'll probably pick up again and give you a little bit more insights and experience with the light alarm um, it's just $70 found it on Amazon um, needed to make a good investment long term for my sleep for my well-being um, so yeah super excited to use it and that will be probably when you know I'll give a little bit more insights I'll probably hint on maybe a review um, and also a bunch of other stuff as well and yeah that would just be it for routine now I guess for today's video uh, as I said I didn't really have anything planned but um, I guess in terms of like a little little life checkup so yeah in terms of my work so far and um, what I've been up to uh, I just got off the bat of like a two week bout of just pure school um, you guys know on this channel I, I don't really like to show too much of that stuff or talk about it but yet again it's about being open and honest on this channel so yeah I just got off two weeks of pure you know <laughs> delayed work procrastinating on work um, and yeah just purely because I was prioritizing my business and um, prioritizing my own work over school work and so it obviously caught up to me and yeah I tried my best to fight off the deadlines but yeah it's Thursday now obviously it is a lot more calmer now um, no assignments yet no tests yet um, work is steady and you know I learned from that two weeks that you know I really should probably just focus on my school work at school and then my personal work at home. And I think that's a pretty good balance overall. In in terms of like a mindset switch, like just, you know, I, I go through as much as I have, I believe, you know, I have a lot of wisdom and a lot of insight and a lot of general critical thinking for someone my age and especially to the people around me. You know, I still grow mentally and I'm always keeping my mind open as a, like a life student um, <laughs> definitely not so as a school student um, yeah I just I just suck in that realm I'm definitely not smart by any means in, in, in school metrics you know academic methods but yeah I've been having recently just some mental reframes of you know truthfully life my career um, what I want to do and um, I think Right now, it's maybe not best to explain it in intricate detail and, you know, let it get to my head and all this. You know, it's better if I keep working and I keep just putting my head down and, you know, focusing on the work, the process and, you know, eventually getting the results um, to back myself up and grow as a person. Um, but recently, basically what I've been going through is just um, having a talk with you know my my parents um, that's my mom my dad uh, about my career and truthfully um, up until that point which was only like Sunday um, so really this is like four or five days ago I, I kept private on what I did I believed in the fact that you know that quote that a fish with its mouth closed never gets caught and I believe that and I believe that that you should keep things private when you tell people and your, you know your dreams and what you want to do to just people who wouldn't get the vision it's it's hard and most of the time you're not going to get the supportive reaction that you would get especially and and, and this is just especially when you go into online business especially when you especially when you just go into business in general in entrepreneurship in general 
when you go down this path, no one supports you. And and listen, I could have lied about what I was doing. I could have, you know, basically gave a safe answer to what I was doing. But the truth is, is like I'm I'm 17 now. Like this year, I'm going to turn 18. Um, in August, August the 8th, that's when my birthday is. And like I'm going to be adult soon. And you know, up until that point, I I was always comfortable with talking with my mom about, you know, you know, slowly, you know, just understanding as a person, I can't just bottle this up forever. At some point, they're going to ask me, what uni am I going to go in? And they have asked me that. They've, they've asked me all of these, you know, future questions about future study and, you know, what I, what I want to be. And truthfully, I realize that I, I can't just keep hiding forever. As much as, you know, I've I referred to that quote before. And so I realized, you know, hey, just like many other stories, it's better off to break the ice and melt the ice rather than them find out. And it's just a hard crash. And it's just, you know, I'd, I'd rather see, you know, it's better off to see those ideas and make sure it's a soft landing rather than just go from like, hey, I want to do engineering. I want to do... Uh, I, I want to be, I want to go to law, I want to do science to, no, I want to start this business. I want to go all out on this business. So it was probably the mature option and probably the better option in my position. But it's put me now in a position and a mental fr reframe where I genuinely needed to question Am I really about to do this? Am I really about to say this? Am I really about to commit to this? And this is how I made that choice. And listen, I could get into the intricacies and the details of it, but truthfully, I'll just summarize it very clearly. It was not an easy talk whatsoever. They sat me down and yeah, it turned into a turned into an argument. And yeah, it just, you know, our family goes, especially when you have such contrarian ideas. Um, I know this may be really esoteric for anyone who isn't, doesn't understand the position that I'm in right now. And I'm sure all of you guys will go through it one day when you, you know, you say it to your parents, um, you can't keep it a secret for that long. And if, and if you do, it's going to be really hard for them to, you know, digest that in uh, one bit. So yeah, I broke the ice and, yeah, it was it was hard, but now I'm I feel like I'm kind of screwed a little bit because what's basically come out of it is a bunch of terms and conditions and a bunch of um, you know rules and deadlines and you know telling me about what's going to happen after after school whether I should even stay in school. It's ridiculous. Just the amount of topics we went into, it wasn't. It wasn't a very well communicated and understood situation. Yet again, with such contrary, you know, ideas from what I believe in now, you know, in in today's age and what they believe, um, and what you know their family has told them, etc., for decades and decades now, and it's really hard to hear it from a kid who is just like me, who hasn't really found that level of success and is trying to preach and pave this new path that, you know, the, my parents are unsure of. And so as I only have a little bit more time left to speak, the point is, is that I want you guys to understand when you come into this space and you make that decision to start a business, to go in all in on entrepreneurship, um, you know, go all in on that side hustle or side business, whatever people have their name of. It, it comes with a lot of things that you have to accept. And sometimes you don't even, you're not even aware of what it could do for your life unless you understand, you know, the path that's laid out. Um, I'll put a picture of like the graph on the screen of what I'm talking about. Um, but right now, if some of you guys know, there's an agency accelerator week and on one specific 
um, module or video, I think it was like the second video is about mindset. There's a graph that shows the, it's like a, it's like a graph of emotional change. And yes, and I'll be honest really quickly. I am on the fourth stage. I am on informed optimism. Listen, I've been there where I'm uninformed pessimism and then, you know, uninformed optimism. And then I was at the valley of despair. I was there, but I, I've just been so like immersed in this space now that I understand the two paths that I have and the, the two paths are business. The other one is, you know, school, the, the conventional path, get a job. And as someone who is in the fourth stage, and I truly believe that I, I, I truly understand the transparency of the path that I'm going on. I would much rather choose plan A, which is my business. If there's anything I want you guys to take away from this, it's that when you're doing this, I want you to understand the terms and conditions you accept when you go down this path. This path that isn't well paved, but truthfully, you know, if you're in it, you understand the potential that it could do for someone's life. And really just, you know, I've had to come and accept that and really absorb that a lot more and take that more seriously in my life because I just have so much more pressure and responsibility and, and deadlines now to actually fulfill on what I want to do. Otherwise, there's going to be consequences and there's going to be things that will begin to start halting and you know preventing me from what I want to do. You know, it's it's unfortunate and it's taught me to have a lot more urgency and a lot more, you know, take more seriously my time. Like now I have to be more selfish and be more ruthless with dictating where my time goes and very simply it's just it is a tough situation that i am in right now i'm not sure whether you know if you guys were in my position right now and i'm sure you'll go for it whether you feel as composed as i am because i feel i don't know why i just handle stress so well and i, I don't feel any stress because i'm and it's not because i'm numbed out or i don't know whatever reason you could think of but just genuinely that i believe in what i do and it's only a matter of work and time. And it's as simple as that. I know that I can get results in this. It's worked for other people. It's gonna work for me. And all I need to do now is just put in the work and the time and hopefully one day I see the results and the fruits of my labor. So yeah, guys, just understand this, this path is not a well-paved path. It's really not for everyone. And truthfully, not a lot of people succeed. And the reason why is because usually most of the times their environment holds back. Um, the ones who push through and, and you know, they truly believe in what they do and they understand that failure isn't really a thing. Those are the ones that long-term succeed, you know, because everything works. You can work a job, that works. You can start a business and that works. It only fails when you give up or when you die. Realistically, you're not going to die. But most of the times people fail, fail because they just simply give up when you can get the results. It's, it's so simple. So yeah, it's just been a fucking reality check um, for me. And, you know, I really need to get more serious on what I need to do. And, and I guess a reminder from me to you is that I'm probably going to slow down my editing after this video uh, or well the next few videos so then I can just focus on the business more because at the end of the day I've come to realize that I, sh I guess I couldn't should have understood this before that my business is really the thing that that gives me this lifestyle that gives me the future that gives me the amazing content so if I want to make better content I need to improve my business first and then that will improve my life which will improve my content. Hope you've enjoyed this talk. I hope you've gotten something out of this and I hope you understand the situation that I'm in. And I uh, hope, you know, when you're in my position one day, you understand what I'm talking about. So guys, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.